The smoke and threat grenade combination is absolutely amazing when done correctly, man. As you see right now, I already tagged one guy with that threat grenade, and then I tag another one. So actually, I know he's right there right now. Now, what most of these guys do when they see that smoke, they chill. Because <laughs> they don't want to run through that smoke. But the thing is, even if they do run through that smoke, that threat grenade has already hit them, and I know exactly where they at. But most of the time, they don't even want to run through the smoke. Or well, sometimes these noobs will just shoot into the smoke. They shoot into the smoke. So what I do, I I shoot the smoke like not exactly where I'm gonna be at. But right here, I, that was a failed smoke grenade because I my smoke grenade hit the. Hit the wall and bounce out of the map. But my threat grenades did uh, hit these guys. So even if the smoke grenade doesn't hit them. Look at this noob jumping up and down. Skeet shooter. <laughs> Skeet shooter. Yeah, but man. <laughs> even if the smoke grenade. Even if the threat grenade. No, even if the smoke grenade doesn't. Isn't in a perfect spot. The threat grenade is still going to. Uh connect and also in this class i'm running uh the threat that's no what what is this I, can, I can't even remember what this attachment is called but i'm running it right now i don't always run it i just want to see how it was see how i'm tagging all these guys and i actually right there i overshot my uh my smoke grenade like i shot my smoke grenade like way up here somewhere and it's all, no i shot it actually over the map you born to See, I like doing it in domination. And you want to, whenever you're capping the flag, or you think the enemies may be there, put that smoke grenade directly on that flag. Don't overshoot it like I was doing it. Like I was doing a lot of times. Like right here, when I hit this guy with this smoke, you see I tag him? You see I tag him? I know you're going, baby. I know you're going. He didn't run and run through that smoke. So he ran, he ran directly at me. That smoke be throwing them off guard, man. They hate that smoke. And then you like you know when you get hit with a threat grenade. So when that smoke, no, first of all, I do I like to throw that threat grenade first, and then throw the smoke, and then throw another threat grenade just in case, you know. So when that first threat grenade hits, when that first threat grenade hits, they be like, oh no, they can see me. They know where I'm at. And that was a fair grenade throw right there. What I should have, I wanted to put it right on B. I wanted to hit the wall and make it bank, do a bank shot. But it didn't work, man. So enough of the gameplay. Let me show you some uh, part of the class that, the lot, that I like to run when I'm running the smoke and threat grenade combination. I like it too, baby. So what I like to do is, number one, I like to put a target in here on this class, man. Your other attachments, it's up to you. But for me, I like to put a target in here on this class. Now for my perks, perk one is up to you. But perks two, cold-blooded. The reason is you use these smoke grenades just in case anybody on the other team is also using the target in the so or the threat grenades, you want to have cold blooded on it. Now, my wild cards, you want to put bomb, whatever this, <laughs> whatever this is. For, for the longest, I thought they said bomb raider, but it doesn't, as you can see. So, what you want to do is, man, I like putting my smoke grenade up here first, and then I like putting two threat grenades down. Because, like you saw, I throw. A threat grenade, throw a smoke grenade, and then throw another threat grenade. Score streaks is totally up to you. You can finish the rest of this class set up however you like, but target enhancer, cold blooded, bomb raider, even though that's not what it says. Two threat grenades in a original exo launcher spot, and you want that smoke grenade. And uh, exo launcher spot that took place of your exo ability, man. So that's how you do it. 
the smoke and threat grenade connection combo, whatever you want to call it. That is it. Enjoy. Tell me how it works for you. Thanks for watching.